evening, great afternoon, and great evening. Welcome back to our today's online class with Mr. Michael. Today we'll be looking at uh, terms involving powers. Yes, there are some expressions in algebra that have something to do with powers. So that's what we're going to look at now. Let's see what we have to ourselves. So, first of all, we have 3 times n times n times n times n. We have the digit there three, then the alphabet is turning their n into four the four places. Just like we talked about uh, the squares and the roots. So if the numbers appeared four times, you know that they are raised to power four. So therefore three times because I told you any one you see alphabet with only alphabet without the number we know that one is standing because if you say three times one times one times one is still three. So here you see three n how many n do we have one two three four four n that means n is raised to power four because we have four n there say let's see another example maybe that will be more easier so we'll say simplify a times a times a times b times b how many a's do we have three a's hold them together collect the like times hold them together put them in the brackets multiply by how many b's two b in the bracket so three a means a to the power of three times b there are two that means b to the power of two that is all this is very simple at least even if we are starting with this some people everybody will have loved to be solving uh, algebra so that is just as simple as it is a at a we have three a's that means a to the power of three we have two b's that means b to the power of two that is your answer i know i can see everybody smiling from here because this one is as simple as everything now let's move forward and see what is there we have two c squared times three c squared d squared so this one is for us to to remove to to rearrange this one and see what we have for example now we have 2c square means 2 times c times c times 3 times c times c times d now what will you do first you first of all collect the numbers 2 times 3 bracket close multiply by now how many c's do we have we have two c's by the left hand side and two c's by the right hand side that means we have four c's now out of the c's you have one two three four c's then multiply by how many d do we have d doesn't is not raised to power anything so that means the d is only one now two times three is what six how many c's do we have four c's that means c to power four and what times what how many d do we have only one d so that means this we have six c to power four and d this becomes our final arrangement that we'll be struggling to arrange it as simple as it is. So you any number that is raised to power 10, make sure that the number appears 10 times. The one that is raised to power 4, make sure the number appears 4 times. The one that is raised to power 3, make sure the number appears 3 times. That is all. Then we have also 5EF times 2E square F. Let's rearrange all this. We arrange this and solve it so we we'll know what we have here. We have 5 times 2. Those are the first numbers that we have, so we collect them. 5 times 2 in the bracket close times how many e because we start the remain from accordingly from 5 to e to f how many e's do we have we have one e by the left hand side because it's not raised to the power of any one we have one e then we have the e at the, the right hand side they are two because they're raised to the power two that means those ones are two the two e plus the, this one here becomes three that's why the e appears three times then the f how many f do we have two because one by the left hand side and one by the right hand side that's why we have two f there so five times two is ten e how many e's do we have we have three e's that's e to power three times how many f do we have two two f times f to power two period nothing more than that so anyone that is raised to power two make sure that it appears two times the one that's appeared to power three make sure that it appears three times so that after you have multiplied them any one any have the any um, any number they appear or if you're coming to the answer count them if those ones are very uh, ten, you rearrange them back give them to the power of ten or the part of any number that they are they are they appear so as simple as anyone can think of so with what we have learned so far about algebra this one concerning powers we can be able to solve three square times two f to the power of four times three to the power of three it's very simple the second one says five times three n to the power of four times two f to the power of three just so simple and seven times y times y times y times h times h also very simple. I wish you a very bright day and a lovely um, 
new week. My name is Mr. Michael. God bless you.